everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a brand new DIY video for you and I am bringing the stress balls back. Yes ma'am, yes sir. I have made a bajillion and one stress balls. Just kidding, I probably made like 11. You can click the link up here if you want to see the stress balls that I have made. I have a whole playlist of them. But today, y'all, it's finally happening. I am making a unicorn stress ball, but it's not just an ordinary, basic old unicorn stress ball. This is an LED unicorn light up stress ball and it changes colors and it is just freaking magical. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me if you love all things unicorn. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. We're currently trying to reach 10,000 unicorns, which would be amazing if we can reach it by when this video comes up. I don't know. We're almost there. If you're new here to my channel or you already are subscribed, then make sure you hit the little bell icon that is right next to the subscribe button. That way you can get push notifications sent straight to your phone every time I upload. Also, this video is actually part of a stress ball collab with one of my best friends, Peter from Peta Bread. Hey, bitch, hey, it's Peter right here. Okay. And if you guys don't know who I am, um, you guys obviously haven't checked me out from Joseph's videos. Um, I'm actually going to be making a hollow stress ball for you guys. If you guys like anything, Hollow stress balls in general. Go ahead and check out my channel. Check out my video. Ugh, hopefully Joseph leaves it in the description. Bitch, I hope you leave it. Shade. Subscribe if you guys aren't. Become a biscuit today and join the bakery. I'll catch you guys over there. And yeah. Now that I can have my channel back, Shady Bread, I did also want to let you all know that I am doing a giveaway, so make sure you check the link that's on the top of the description box if you want to know how to enter. Alrighty, hopefully this intro wasn't too long for you all. I'm sorry if it was, but it's just fun, you know? Now that all that's out of the way, let's get started, shall we? So for this DIY, I'm actually going to be using a unicorn head light-up balloon that has a color-changing LED. It's super cool. You can find these at Walmart, and they are like two bucks for this, so it's amazing. It already has like everything you will need to actually customize your own unicorn head and I just think it's super cool because the LED actually lasts up to 15 hours. Then I'm also going to be using some glue here. You definitely don't have to do this. You can just use water. However, I wanted it to kind of like be a different texture. It really didn't make a difference so just use water honestly. And then you are also going to need some water of course. It is better if you have it in like a water bottle that way you can use it as a nozzle. So taking a look to see what's inside of the package, we actually have some cutouts here. This is going to be like the features of the unicorn, like the horn, the hair, and also like the ears and stuff. By the way, if I sound like really nasally or something, it's just because I'm dying like from allergies. It's so bad, but it also comes with the little glue dots so that you can adhere the stuff onto your balloon. And then it comes with the actual unicorn balloon. I was so shook when I saw it because it looks like it has like different faces on it. I was like, how is this going to work? Why do they put faces on the balloon? But it's actually the features of the unicorn, the eyes and the nose. So they'll be shook like I was, okay? <laughs> Just by looking at it, doesn't it look like there are like three different faces on there? I'm just saying. But anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take the little lever that's there and you're just going to go ahead and pull it out and this is going to activate the LED inside of your balloon. That way you can go ahead and make it glow and stuff and it color changes so it's super cool. Now it's time to prepare everything that's going inside of the balloon which is just a mixture of water and glue what I'm using. However, you can definitely just use water because there's honestly no difference. I'm just going to be pouring the glue into my water bottle here and then once I have it all like in there in the water bottle I'm just gonna go ahead and gently mix it up because you don't want to create too many bubbles because that won't look too nice and then that's pretty much it Now it's time to put it all together, so what you're going to do is you're going to want to go ahead and blow up your balloon and then kind of twist it at the bottom like you see me doing here, and then go ahead and attach it onto your water bottle nozzle, I guess, like the little top part where you would drink out of. That way you can go ahead and flip it over and then just empty out all the contents inside of the balloon. I was thinking of adding glitter and stuff like that into this as well, just so it wasn't like, you know, so basic. However... It's not very transparent, these kind of balloons. It's like a white balloon, so you won't even be able to tell. Once you have your liquid inside of your balloon, just go ahead and detach the water bottle and then let all of the air out of the balloon. Just do this very slowly because you obviously don't want to make a mess and you don't want the water to go everywhere. If you do this too fast, it could just shoot right through the little hole. So you don't want to do that. Once you have all of the air out, you don't want to have any air pockets because this will make the balloon like susceptible to popping. So just make sure you have all of the air out and then you can just tie a hole or tie a knot. I can't think right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now that you have your balloon tied, you basically have your unicorn head blank canvas kind of thing to start customizing. These little glue dots here are exactly what it says. It's like dots of glue. All you do is attach it onto whatever you want to attach the balloon to and then you can just go ahead and do that. So as you see here, all of the parts were very, very large for the actual stress ball, so I had to cut them. for this DIY. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel to become a unicorn. Don't forget to head over to Peter's channel and watch his video as well and subscribe to him. His links will be down in the description box below. Let him know that I sent you. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you all next time. Bye! Where there is smoke, there is a fire burning